Hi, my name is Shauna Rowland. This is for Health Assessment, Mount All Wishes College, Carrie Fiore, CRNP. I'm assessing head, neck, and lymphatic system. This is my patient. Come on in. Hi, I'm Shauna. I'm going to be your nurse today. Hi, I'm Lisa. Nice to meet you. Have a seat. Okay, Lisa, so we're going to be talking about your head and neck today, okay? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to ask you some general questions about your health history. Um, how, how is your scalp? Good. No dryness, any oily areas, any patches of um, maybe sores or dry skin that aren't healing up? Nope. Okay. Uh, any trouble with your skull, with your bones, any injuries? Nope. Okay. How about um, with your thyroid gland? No, no problems. No diagnosed hyper hypothyroidism? Mm -mm. Okay. Any problems with your airway that you're aware of? Nope. Any numbness or tingling to your face? No. Any facial tics? No. Any family history of any of those things? Not that I know of. Okay, very good. Have you ever been diagnosed with any illnesses related to your head or neck or brain? No. Okay. Have you ever had an infection? No. Um, and any, you said no family history of any thyroid issues? No. Okay. Any past injuries to your head? No. Okay. Any recent dizziness? Occasionally. Okay. What do you think brings that on? Um, usually happens if I stand up um, from a sitting position, if I stand up too fast. Okay. And um, that's the only thing that seems to precipitate the dizzy spells? Mm -hmm. Any loss of consciousness or passing out with that? Nope. Do you take any medications to help? I do. I take uh, Anavert. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that's effective for you? Yep. About how often do you have to take that? Just as needed. Okay. Very good. And no history of seizures? Nope. Any blurry vision? Mm -mm. Any visual disturbances with the dizziness? Nope. Okay. Have you noticed any swelling, lumps, bumps, um, or open sores to your skin or your neck at all? No. Okay. How about any history of headaches? I do have headaches, usually about uh, two or three times a week. Okay. Can you describe those for me? Um, they're generally mild, no severe pain or anything like that. Are they accompanied by any nausea, vomiting? Nope. Any sensitivity to light? Mm -mm. Sound? Nope. Okay, where does where do you feel the pain at? Uh it's mostly on this side. Okay. Sometimes it, it happens on, on the left also. Okay. Can you describe the pain for me? Just generally like a, a throbbing sensation. Okay. Well, what do you use to help with those headaches? Tylenol, Advil. Okay. How often do you have to take those? Um Usually just once, just as needed. Once a day and it's usually mm -hmm. effective against your headaches? Okay. Um, do you think that there's anything in particular that brings your headaches on? Um, I'm under a lot of stress lately. Okay, tell me about that. I'm a full-time college student, so it's pretty stressful. Okay, what's your major? Nursing. Oh, that's nice. Mm -hmm. Anything else in your life going on right now that might contribute to your stress level? No, I don't think so. Okay. Very good. Um, recently had any kind of cold or flu? Nope. All right. Any stiff muscles, sore neck? Nope. Okay. Very good. Do you drink? Occasional. Okay. Mm -hmm. Any recreational drug use? Nope. Any tobacco use? Nope. And any caffeine intake? A lot of caffeine. Okay. How about how many caffeinated beverages do you have during the day? Uh, I would say maybe five or six. Okay. And are you aware that a lot of times there's caffeine in some food products as well? I did not know that. Yeah, yeah, that's in things like chocolate. Um, and now, a lot of the time, uh, companies are marketing caffeinated gum, caffeinated potato chips. So you want to make sure that you're limiting your caffeine intake okay. and reading labels before you're purchasing different foods. Okay. I try to use decaffeinated products like decaffeinated tea mm -hmm. and soda. Really, you shouldn't have more than probably two caffeinated beverages a day. Oh, okay. okay. That could be contributing to your headaches. I never thought about that. Okay. So, do you have any anxiety or emotional troubles? I do have a history of anxiety. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, any depression? Um, mild. Mild depression, yeah. Okay. What do you think brings on your anxiety? Uh, it's probably just daily activities, just like the school and stuff. I think it probably just accompanies the stress. Okay. And what do you do that helps you relax and maybe take the edge off of that? Um, if I can, I like to, to run. 
Um, maybe just go for a walk. Okay. Any medications to help? I do take Ativan as needed. Okay, and is it effective? Mm -hmm. Okay. That's another good reason to limit your caffeine intake because caffeine does contribute to anxiety as well. Okay. okay. No over the counter medications or herbal supplements to coincide with your Ativan? Nope. Okay. Have you ever had any radiation to your head or neck? I did just have an MRI recently. Okay, tell me why did you have that done? Um, just because I've been having some hand tremors and some um, like muscle twitches in my in my neck. Okay. Did you get the results of your MRI? I did. It came back normal. Okay. And are they going to do any other testing? Um, I did have an EEG done, but we're still waiting for the results. Okay. But no history of seizure activity that you're aware of? No. Okay. Any family history of seizure activity? My younger sister. Okay. Okay. And any other testing that's pending? Nope. Did you have any blood work done? I did. Okay. And did they call you with any abnormal results? Everything was normal. Okay. Mm -hmm. Maybe we can contact your PCP and get a copy of those. Mm -hmm. Now, are you aware, are you exposed to any chemicals or toxins in your home or work environment? No. Okay. Okay. Well, Lisa, um, pretty sure that handles the questions related to what I'm looking at today. So, what I'm going to do is um, have you just sit real still. I'm going to be looking at and feeling your head and neck and your face. If at any point it becomes uncomfortable for you or painful for you, just let me know. Okay. Mm -hmm. So first you're just going to look at her bone structure. You're looking at the frontal bone, the parietal, and the occipital bones. Everything feels smooth and equal and looks symmetrical. You look at her scalp. Scalp looks good, not dry, not oily, no open areas that I'm aware of, I can see here. Kind of look back here too. Okay, your scalp looks good. Okay, Lisa. Okay, I want you to look up at me. Her palpebral fissures appear to be equal. The lateral canthus or the outer canthus of her eye looks to be level with the pinnae of her ears. Go ahead and smile for me. Nasiolabial folds appear to be equal. Movements seem to be symmetrical. Cranial nerves appear to be intact. I don't notice any spasms or twitches. Okay. What I want you to do for me is I'm going to look at the range of motion for mm -hmm. your neck. So I want you to go ahead and bring your head down to your chest. Good. Turn to the right. Turn to the left. Good, lean back. Good. Now relax your shoulders and try to touch the ear to your shoulder on both sides. Good. Any discomfort with that? Nope. Any dizziness? Nope. Okay, good. And just feel here. Okay. Go ahead and open and close. Okay. There is some clicking noted. Go ahead and do that again for me. Okay, and a little bit of movement to the one side, so we'll have to maybe follow up with a physician about that, okay? Mm-hmm. It's not terribly abnormal. It just happens wear and tear. Do you happen to grind your teeth at night? I do. Yeah. Mm hmm Okay. Any ear pain associated with that? Nope. Okay, good. Just gonna feel your temporal arteries. They feel smooth. Upon auscultation, the temporal arteries are without brewing. Um, if we would hear one, we would assume that there's probably some narrowing. Okay. I'm going to feel here. I'm just feeling for your lymph nodes. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
just want to make sure that when you're palpating lymph nodes, you're using a gentle circular motion, is to not push them back into the muscular tissue. I don't notice any lymph node enlargement. If there would be it enlarged, we would assume, excuse me, assume, <laughs> maybe infection, um, allergies, or a possible malignancy. Okay, that looks good. I'm going to palpate your trachea, okay? Mm -hmm. I just need you to sit real still for me here. Swallow. Okay, good. Now I'm going to have you swallow a few more times. Do you think you'd like some water? Mm hmm. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, I'm going to stand behind you. And what I'm going to try to do here is palpate your thyroid gland. Okay. So, what I need you to do is just kind of sit up straight, relax, and turn your um, head to the right a little bit. And take a drink of water. Okay, good. Now, leave your, just stay relaxed and look to the other side for me. Okay, and take another drink. Okay, good. Very good. I don't notice any thyroid enlargement. If I did, I would also go take the area um, as there may be increased blood flow if there was thyroid enlargement. Okay. The only other thing I want to do here is just feel your carotid arteries. Both carotid arteries are palpable. I don't notice any distension of the jugular vein. Okay. Well, Lisa, I'll report all these findings back to the physician. Um, okay. Definitely the things that I would concentrate on for you specifically are the decreased caffeine intake. That should help with your headaches, should help with any kind of anxiety issues that you have, and maybe decrease those hand tremors and um, twitches to your face. But we'll get all your results back, and I'll contact the physician, see if he wants to do any further testing. Okay, sounds good. Thank you very much. Thank you. That concludes the assessment of head, neck, and lymphatics.